or net. Uh, where the hell's my camera? Oh, what the? <laughs> so we started this stream a minute ago. I got about twenty minutes into the movie, and then uh, my crap crapped out. <laughs> um, Streamlabs apparently had a goofy doodle and did not start recording when I told it to. And so, we gotta start all over again. Yay! Yay, everybody! Yay! <laughs> anyway, uh, so, <clears throat> hello, my freaks and villains of the internet. Hello, 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 hello. Maybe, just maybe, now that we've had a little bit of more exposure to the movie, we'll have a better, a better riff. Because I doubt it. Don't hold your breath. But we're gonna try. We're gonna get back into it. We're gonna right back into it. We are watching Invisible Ghost for. Oh, you know what? Oh, we can just do this. Uh, we can just do this. There. We're watching Invisible Ghost from our friends at Cult Cinema Classic, which is quickly becoming a regular on this channel, as they put up a lot of old movies. Uh, if you would, please give them the likes and the subscribes and all that to help them out. I would appreciate that. Just show our support, since they do so much for us. And uh, words and stuff and stuff and words. I forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, let's go ahead and start the movie, because I just brain farted like there's no goddamn tomorrow. So many farts. Ugh, the inside of my skull, it smells. Ugh, it's terrible. Bella Lugosi in. Invisible toast. Ghost, 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 not toast. Uh, invisible toast would not be helpful. How do you eat it? Affiliated with American Federation of Labor. Oh. oh, cool, a union. We love unions. If you don't love unions, you're a shitty person. You're great. I would try to remember all the characters' names, but I'm, I'm not going to. Also, what the hell is that shadow of? Wolfman? Actually, I think it's like an old Wolfman, right? Because you have the mane and the claws. But he also needs a walking stick. It's Wolfman. The later years. Good evening, Evans. You did, sir. actually not a portrait of his wife, it's his mistress, and it's a little messed up, he keeps making his wife Thank look. You. Good evening, my dear. <laughs> okay, he's a nutter butter. Okay, that makes sense. You're more beautiful than ever this evening. Mrs. Kessler first, Evans. Oh, yes, I'm sorry, sir. I believe I went to Harvard buttling school for this. Here you go, nice invisible imaginary lighter. That's it's, it's your tea. It'll, I'm gonna. Crap, I hate the job. I get food or something. Dad taking it? All right, Miss Virginia. Oh, well, yeah, you know, all right for someone who's having dinner with an imaginary wife. I'll answer it. Why does your doorbell sound like you're trying to give a goose a proctology exam? Hello, Virginia. Meet Virginia. I told you not to come here this evening, Ralph. Why? Didn't you want to see me? Oh, God, no. no. It isn't that I didn't want to see you. Just that I didn't want to see you. You're certainly acting strange, darling. What's all the mystery about? Let's go into the library. The last time, no one makes me learn! Ralph! William. After dinner, we are taking a long walk. My father's dating a squirrel. You, you can't see her because she's... I'd like to speak to you, Ralph. Let's come over here, Father Virginia. So. No one's Is ever wanted to speak to Ralph. Me here tonight? Yes. It stopped me cold. I'm sorry if I accidentally stumbled on something you didn't want me to know. It must seem weird to someone who's never seen it before. 
It happens once a year. He always appeared perfectly rational. How weird. Your father seems to be in a home, that's all. There's something I must tell you. It's about my mother. I don't understand. Well, it happened several years ago. Well, she my hasn't told you yet. My were apparently as happy as two people could be. He worshipped her. Another man. The usual best friend. And I guess she wasn't all that happy, Dad was she? broke my father's heart. It seems reconciled, but... He never forgets their wedding anniversary and celebrates it that way. Guess he isn't the only one who resorts to make-believe, but it does give one an uncanny feeling. It doesn't Heaven both second anymore. graders. Now that you know... I love you. You get married, I'm locking your dad up. I'd like to watch. You want your coat, Miss Kessler? Oh, oh yes, thank you. Why are you fixing I your hair? You weren't doing anything yet. It's a beautiful night. Come along? Yes, of course. Sure you don't mind going? No, no, I'd love it. We'll be back in an hour, Cecile. Yes, miss. I had a hat. Mm. Oh, I'll be right back. Mm. You, you can keep watching the movie, guys. young man of Miss Virginia's. I guess so. If he was, Miss Virginia wouldn't bother with him. Does she plan to marry him? I never discuss things that aren't my business. Now I got a hat. I'm happy you now. You want to stay here? I suggest you don't be so curious. Well, just the same. I think this is a crazy house. Now what about those murders? Julius here says there's been a lot of... I didn't say nothing! I didn't say nothing! Find out who did the killing. You talk too much, Jules. But I only said that... Uh, excuse me, Mr. Seal. Come, I'll show you where we keep our linen. Hard to wear a headphone with hats. <laughs> I use my Raycons. Shop bigmoney.com slash Raycon. Or Raycon.com slash big money. One of the two. Watch one of his videos. Why, Jules is a thief! Take a whole jug of milk? What the fuck? Eating the precious woodland creatures. What a sweetheart. Oh, no, no, he's going after the shed. He thinks Jules is about to partake of the green and he brought his own munchies. Smart. Can't rely on there being munchies in the gardening shed. Potting shed? The hat may have been a bad idea. Alright, let's try this. failed experiment. But you know what? It's pretty. Mrs. Kessler. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Kessler. I brought you your dinner. Oh, please, Mrs. Kessler. I gotta go home. This movie's getting dark. Jules keeps Mrs. Kessler locked oh. underneath the potting shed. I want to go home, too. Oh, but you are home. And as soon as you feel better, I'm going to take you to your husband and daughter. But they never write to me. Oh, but they don't it's know nobody you knows you're alive. <laughs> <laughs> You see, I found I'm you. running away. You should. This is creepy We're as fuck. Away in a car. Oh. We're going faster, faster, faster. We're gonna crash. We're gonna crash. Slowly, slowly, slowly getting faster. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. I can't go home now. Can I? It's actually not her face. She was horribly mangled in the accident, and Jules sliced off a lady who was walking her dog's face and put I've it on her. I've got to go home. I'll be back in the morning. Good night, Mrs. Kessler. Good night. It's not much dinner, right? Oh, fucking stairs. It's it's just like, oh, God damn it! a loaf of bread. Oh, some milk. Oh. Late again, Jules. It's all the damn stairs. But I just couldn't get away from her. Mwah! Jules, why don't you tell Mr. Kessler about his wife? You're hiding her. Oh, I haven't got the heart. Mama would kill him if he saw her the way she is. Poor thing. She no disheveled, she no makeup. That when that car was wrecked. Uh, I guess so. Guess it would have been better if she died, huh? Jules, I've been thinking. 
Maybe she had something to do with all these horrible murders. Oh, oh, oh she wouldn't hurt nobody. She's like a child. She's well, now, still dazed from the accident. Did the murder start before or after the accident? Because she might be on something. She'd be better soon. Then I'll take her home. Honey, I think you put the bath water in here they again. I found out I've been hiding her. They might think I had something to do with the murder. Sure, it's you late to think about that now, together. dummy. Oh, no, no, Mama. Oh, you Mama. Must never tell anyone. Yeah. Just gonna keep her locked up forever, then? That doesn't seem like a solution. Kind of fucked up, honestly. Start gossiping with the trees again. Sure you won't come in? No, thanks, darling. I think I'd better run along. <laughs> Good night, Ralph. Oh, Virginia, shall I put your car away? No, thank you. No, I've seen you drive. All right. Night. What the hell's that handle? Good evening, Miss Virginia. Uh, would you please put my car in the garage when you have a moment? Yes, please. Here, I'll do everything. My hands broke. God, the garage just around the corner. You can't move your own car. Damn, we so late. Casanova. So if he walked out of the trees, wouldn't that mean Evans is behind the tree, so Evans can't see them, but Evans is Have responding like he sees them. So did he walk out and around the trees in order to come out from the angle we saw him come at it? Because that doesn't make a lot of sense. Seems like a little wasted effort. I'm Ignoring confused. Ignoring my letters and my telephone calls. I take a hint. Did you think that you could get rid of me as easy as all that? Be quiet. They'll hear you. You bet they will. And you're going to listen to me, too. I'm not giving up to that Kessler girl or anybody else. But this is different, Cecile. I ran a Kessler run in three parsecs or something. I, I'm not a big Star Wars fan. But... Yeah. Well, you're not marrying her, understand? Nothing's going to stand in the way of my happiness. Not even you. Don't threaten me. World's loudest car. Or the force is under the hood. She'll have to know about us sooner or later. And besides, I'll make you a good wife, Ralph. I promise I will. Is it weird that I find that thing on her head sexy? Get one of those for Lex. I don't, I just find, I don't know. It's, never mind me. It's fine, whatever. Guess what? What? Chicken butt. I'm in love. Ralph? Yes, Dad? And the fine boy. I am so happy for you, my dear. Oh, he hasn't asked me to marry him yet, but he will. I know he will. <laughs> if he <laughs> doesn't, I'll just <laughs> kill him. <laughs> Good night, Evans. Good night, Miss Virginia. Can I do anything for you, sir, before I retire? What have you hand at I've only been working here oh, five years. Sir. I heard it when I was putting Miss Virginia's car in the garage. Put anything on it? Not a bandage. Oh, you may have an infection. Why are they in hell? What just happened? That? Just I'm very concerned, concerned for them. I guess I'll eat for a while. Good night, Evans. Good night, sir. Oh, yes, Evans, sir. 1940s were a very dark time. He helped Thank a black man, so he goes to hell. Very, very bad time. He doesn't seem bothered by it, though. I mean, he's just chilling out reading a book. Maybe hell's not so bad. Jesus, I the escape the potting shed! Get her! Go find the woman! My dead wife since is tingling. I think the house is this way. Maybe she's just trying to find the bathroom. Which, lady, there's bushes everywhere. There's bathroom all around you. When you're homeless, nature is your toilet. Not exactly homeless, but she's kind of homeless. Yeah. This is the most menacing he's looked all movie. Oh, I get a movie. The guy with the accents, the bad guy. If he was holding a boombox over her head right now, he would be hers. That's what the 80s taught me. I'm afraid to come home. Because you're killing me. Reaching for a gun! Run! Run while you still can! Don't kill anybody. I'm 
Let me just check. And nope, hasn't receded yet. We're still good. We're still good. Hairline's fine. That's the problem with imaginary wives, bro. They just come and go as they please. The second they're there, the next they're gone. Literally, they just vanish. What it is. Either seeing his deceased wife has zombified him, or he is turtling like there's no tomorrow and he's gotta keep those butt cheeks clamped tight so he doesn't squirt in his drawers. I guess in his robe. Also, who wears a tie with a robe? Oh, okay, I'm starting to lean towards the turtling thing. He's he's clenching pretty tight right now. It's, yeah. Also, you need to leave those candles lit. Fire hazard, sir. What? But why are you walking towards me like that? Would you? What do you want from me? farther. Okay, I got you. I got you, bud. I... Oh. No. Oh. You too. Never been rejected by a movie before. Tons of women, never a movie. Poor man, I'm a little sad now. We could have been happy together. Your dead wife deserve each other. Well, Mr. Kessler needs to watch an HR video called Boundaries. This is not kosher. No, don't take- Oh, he's clothed. Oh. You'll look fantastic in this, trust me. I don't want to, it's not my style. Oh, you're gonna love it. No, it's hideous. <laughs> I kill you! Exercise number one. Combo number five. Exercise. Left leg in. Left Did leg out. Left leg in. Now shake it all about. If it's exercise you want, there's plenty of it in the kitchen. That's just chores. It's not exercise. Don't try to fool the poor girl. Cecile! Okay, that is the weirdest yoga I have ever seen. I guess it is kind of downward dog, huh? That's not how you check a pulse. I mean, very some butler, not an EMT, but still! Come on, bro. Try harder. Confused by the layout of this house. Something terrible has happened. I, I try to wake the new maid. I think she's dead. Dead? How did it happen? I don't I'm know. No one there. I thought she was taking her exercises. Call the police. I see what I can do. Yes. Sir. What, you, what are you a doctor? Actually, that's a legitimate question. Is he a doctor? Have they discussed what he does for a living? Yeah, I mean, he's got a big ass house. I guess it's possible. Another one. At the show for six months ago. E.J. Collett is a serial killer. Bodies hit the ground. He's just like, another one. It's terrible, Lieutenant. She was so young. If we could find out who killed Cecile, we have the one who committed all the other murders. Maybe. Possibly. I don't... There's never been fingerprints. For saying or that weapons. Or... Murders. What gets me, Mr. Kessler, is why you refuse to move out of this place. I like this. Sentimental reasons. There's nothing very sentimental He's sentimentally attached to death. Happen and usually does. Okay, now hold on. Here, hold on. 
house where anything can happen Sweet. usually does sounds fun as long as death's not on that menu or at least if it's not yeah, the only thing on the menu yeah, i mean i suppose that, I that fear could be early. you see i live with my wife all right all right who all else right. would you live with what why you are you specifying that you. oh the director just broke up with the well, gardener you know him? oh i'm certain i don't well, the name started me i'm i'm practically engaged to a ralph and you don't see the connection sure you i'm afraid to tell you your daughter's dumb night, Evans. well Maybe I've been not say. That's Harvard Evans. When I was putting the roaster in the garage, I saw Cecile talking the roaster sticks. in the garage. That's Miss Virginia's wife. Go on. Eat hey, Virginia. Listen. They were talking loud. Then I heard him say that he never loved her. And she said she wasn't going to let him marry anyone else. He also said they, they tried a bunch of crazy there. positions. I don't. I didn't know what to make of that. Happiness. Not even her. Engineer accused of murder. Well, we know Ralph does. Declares innocence when charged with murder of an attractive blonde. Because that's the crime. I knew so. That's the crime. If it was an unattractive blonde, or perhaps a brunette, especially if it was a redhead cut. Anyway, if it was any of those groups, it would have been fine. It is only a crime. Attractive blonde, and how dare you, sir? How dare you take an attractive blonde away from the rest of us? It's fucked up. Fucked up. And you need to apologize to the world at to mankind as a whole, and some of the ladies. Seal a couple of years. She offered me the companionship I needed. Then I wish I mean we had sex a lot. Fell in love for the first time. I love you too, though. Surely you can account for your activities from the time you left our house until well, the next morning. Let's see, I left. I went to the store to get cigarettes. I came back, I snuck in, killed the maid. Then I, I went out for a drive. Oh, the country, didn't stop anywhere shit. and didn't see a soul I knew. It's most unfortunate. All I know is that I. I didn't kill her. There isn't any doubt about that in our minds. Because I did. Don't worry, son. You do everything you possibly can. Which is not much. Order! Order in the courtroom. No one was talking! You saw Miss Word tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. But now married. Yes, I manage the apartments where Ralph Dixon lived. Miss Mannix came there often. As a matter of fact, I thought they were married. Really curious considering how he paid his rent. Marlene helped my wife with the house cleaning. How is this relevant? Coroner's testimony should convince you that the defendant had sufficient reason for wanting to be rid of the victim. Is the truth. Is he the coroner? Do we just like to hear from the coroner? Not even her. This isn't going well. Yeah, I'm pretty much hosed. Yes, you are. Sucks to suck, bro. Dixon sentenced to die. To pay supreme penalty for Mannix murder. Mannix murder? Isn't Mannix an old TV show? We're doing everything we possibly can. Tomorrow we're going to see the governor. When I'm sure something can be done. And I'm going to bring you a cake with a file. The man is innocent. If you would only grant a stay of execution. If you knew him, you'd realize he couldn't possibly be a murderer. I'm sorry. I've gone over the facts in the case. And unless you can present some new evidence, there's nothing I can do. is my shepherd I shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures hey Padre I don't want to be an he asshole or anything but I'm Jewish this isn't really doing anything for me I don't he restoreth my soul Do you guys not have a he rabbi me in the path of righteousness <laughs> I guess it's better than nothing a little insulting Yea, though I walk right. through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for thou art with me Executed for wearing his pants entirely too high. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Woo! Hot girl walking! Hey! hey. Woo! Oh, sorry. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Dad, if you're going to pretend to read, can you at least open the book? Yes? I see. It's all over. Firefly's been cancelled. Oh, burns. I'm back! Yeah, 
I faked my death, bro. Yes. Of course. I'd like to see Mr. Kessley. I don't want a hat, but thank you, I guess. I hope I'm not intruding. Oh, Ralph. Can't be. Apparently, my brother never told you about me. So come in. I've been in South America. Ah, the convenient twin. Once. However, I'm afraid it's too late to do any good. In fact, so just call me Ralph. It'll make things easier. Oh, you about you, but I, I never expected such a striking resemblance. Sorry to have startled you. This is my daughter, Virginia. How do you do? Meet what Virginia. Well, I've had my dinner, thanks, but uh, I would like to talk to you. That's great, but we haven't had our dinner yet. Eating cake with his bare hands? Fucking... Do I look pale? Not no. a joke. I, I don't have a safe answer. I feel pale. Someone's fingering the goose again. The buzz Evans. What's the matter, you deef? I don't know. What does deef mean? Pretty sure it's not English. Did he have a good attorney? Oh, one of the very best. He's handled all of Dad's legal affairs for years. Uh, Evans, Mr. Dixon will have coffee with us. Also, the, the buzzer for the well, door. I'm Ralph Dixon's brother. Well, you sure had me going for a minute. I need to change my shorts. It scared the shit out of me. Mr. Ralph, uh, coffee. Yeah. Fine, I didn't want to be involved in the conversation anyway, ass. Oh, they're back in hell. What did this family do? Evidence can be, but it's never brought home to me like this before. We did everything we possibly could. Besides, you know, try. Ralph and my daughter were quite serious about each other. Yes, he told me in his last letter. Sit up. How long do you plan to stay in this country? I haven't decided yet, Mr. Kessler, but. I would like to find out who killed that By this girl. country, he means hell. It's something I would like to know, too. Please consider this your home while you're here. If there's anything I can do, don't hesitate. Oh, thank you. I see that your room is put in order. Are you sure I'm not troubling you? No, no, not Oh, at no, all. no, I enjoy alphabetizing. I'm the for it till I come back. Free of that miserable shed yet again! <laughs> yes? I threw you to your room. Oh, thank you. I didn't want to walk all the way down. I'm oh, quite lazy, right, you see. Darling, must be Evans or about breakfast and things. Oh, good night, Virginia. Good night, Paul. Oh, no, she's very quickly moving on from Ralph to Paul. It's kind of fucked up. You just buried your last almost fiance. Come in. I hope you'll be comfortable. I sent for your luggage in the morning. It's awfully nice of you, Mr. Kessler. Really, I it's hope It's a that's... pleasure to have you. Thank you, sir. Well, I guess I'll turn in. I haven't had much sleep the last couple the of what? nights. what? Good night. Good night. Turn sir. into what? What is he gonna turn into? Oh. oh, he's... Well, this is light hell, right? There's way less fire. I... Purgatory, maybe? Are they lower circles or higher circles? I don't know how hell works. A dead life since it's tingling again. This is like the world's weirdest fetish. She comes out in the yard, he stares at her, then he kills someone, and then I'm assuming they make love. Also, she's got some killer bedhead. Dum da dum da dum da dum da dum. No, take your time, movie. It's fine. I actually have all night. While we're waiting, let's enjoy some whiskey. Also, Old Smokey, if you want a sponsorship, if you want to sponsor a streamer, rather. 
variety case. It's not not a huge variety either. Like a very little salted water, watermelon whiskeys, a lot of peanut butter whiskey, and a lot of that strawberry cream moonshine you have. Don't you dare, sir! You leave Evans alone. First, he's chill. Second, you only have one black character in this entire goddamn movie. Don't you dare kill him. Pop. Wait a minute. Grab my cup, put some liquor in it. Oh, he's getting naked again. Takes about 30 minutes. I haven't seen that many layers. Oh! But they go. So, in killer mode, apparently, Mr. Kessler lacks any and all object per permanence. Not the gardener, I already forgot his name. Jules? Jules? I think it's Jules. Not Jules! Maybe. Oh no, he's just bagging him up for later, it's fine. This table all my life. It's time I finally told her how I feel. Oh. Wait. Oh, yep, that's corpse. Never mind. He's looking at the corpse. He's not he's not on the other table. He's Check his pulse by poking his lower back again. Give me the police department. There are men around? How many is that this oh. week? Jesus Christ, you guys have filled our whole quarter for the year. Yes. Alright. Really quick, can I get the damn thing up to me? Good morning, Evans. Good morning, Mr. Kessler. Now, what's the matter? Gardner, sir. What? I would just automatically yeah. assume he's dead. What? <laughs> My hairline's still fine, right? You guys wanna eat this? Strangled. Well, here we go again. How long do you work for you? Oh, about three years, I guess. Ever say anything to you about having any enemies? No, sir. Were you home last night? Yes, Lieutenant. Do you acknowledge that anybody come in or go out of the house during the course of the evening? We have a house guest. Why isn't he here? I feel I like it's you. weird. Oh, don't trouble yourself, Mr. That not everyone who what works in this he? house is being held as a witness. Or is a, uh, Let's have a look back. at him, Ryan. Good morning. You're wanted in the kitchen. Nobody the kitchen. wants me? Yeah. Nobody ever wants me! It's my time to shine! You guys want to eat that? Am I seeing things? He's Ralph's brother. Oh, he's the image of him. How did this happen? That's what we'd like to find out. He was strangled, Paul. Would you mind if we go into the library? No, that's all right. I never want to learn nothing. You guys go ahead. Better wait here for the car, Ryan. Not you, Evans. Hey, where were you on the night of January the 13th? Have you had your coffee yet? No! That is the easiest cop to bribe I've and ever fucking that. seen. No clues, no fingerprints, no motive, nothing. But truly, if a man was choked to death, there would be imprints on his throat. Hmm. There weren't any on the Mannix, girl. And they were killed the same way, is that right? That doesn't prove a thing, Dixon. All the it others kinda does, though, doesn't it? Always the same way. The corners, yeah, that, that seems oh, like it yeah. more proves. It's, it's more proof. Go right back. Like, clearly you killed the wrong fucking what dude. What do you mean by the others? Just that. Others have been killed here. Shit ton. Where in the world do you stay? Backyard's full. We can't right leave. side, our roses are beautiful. I'm tripping my head. Oh, Evans. Uh, your luggage, sir. 
Uh, I'll put them in your room. What about these other murders? Sit I'll put, them, put in them in your room, sir. I wouldn't go in there for about 45 minutes. Uh, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Well, uh -huh. there'll be a change anyhow. What's bothering you? As a rule, I'm not a very curious person, but... Um, I was beginning to get you, huh? In a way, yes. Yeah, who put up this wallpaper? What about these other murders? Well, there's been quite a lot of them, Dixon. Some of the best brains in the department have tried to solve them. But they always run up against a stone wall. You see, we're actually a pretty crappy department. Trial. That was different. That was a cut-and-dried case. Why haven't the police closed the house? Well, they tried to, but Mr. Kessler took it to court. Carries a lot of weight around here. He does a lot of good, too. You think he'd want to leave? Uh, I guess he's what waiting for What kind of good? What does he do? She left him several years ago. An awful scandal at the time. Front page stuff and all that. Love children, secret he lives. He didn't have a chance. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll be running along. Glad I met you, Dixon. Good day, Lieutenant. Good luck taking care of that body. Uh, Help some do more This isn't a very pleasant way to entertain a guest. You know, Mr. Kessler. I've always loved a good murder movie. mystery. Somehow or other, these mysterious murders are going to be cleared up. And quickly, too. Nothing will please me more. Or your wife? Not my mistress. She's beautiful. I rarely talk about her, but I think about her constantly. She has eyes like Virginia. Mead Virginia. Her, her skin. They were the loveliest I've ever seen. And we're the lovely. It's a pleasure meeting her. She'll be back someday. From outer yeah. space. She'll Father just walk in. Oh. This picture. Father's a sentimentalist. He has every right to be. I'll get it. Hello. Yes. You're looking just for Just a moment, please. It's for you, Dad. Thank you. Yes? No. Yes, I guess I can. Maybe? Yes. Yes. Oh, in about well, 20 minutes, I'd say. Surely. Goodbye. I'll see you children later. Business. He, he means he's going to the bathroom. Sorry. That's the only information I can give you, Mr. Kirby. Have you notified his Why is he being invited yes, to the Mr. coroner's Kessler. office? Like, he's not related to the coroner. It's terrible. Awful. See the coroner. Yes. And Jules' wife. Where have you taken her? In there, Mrs. Mason. I should be warned, it's quite gruesome. I thought he was strangled. Yeah, but then we beat him around with a bat for an hour. We were bored. May I have one moment alone with me? Against regulations, I haven't done an autopsy yes, yet, but yeah, so. sure, why not? Y'all are terrible at your jobs, every last fucking one of you. And... You can pull the sheet back. Let's not make a boo Mason. joke. Mrs. Mason, you better take her out, Mr. Kirby. He's alive. Yeah, kill her. Take her up back and shoot. Oh. He's alive. I saw him move. Oh, that was just probably the death I'm tube. The it's... You'll be all right, Mrs. Mason. The hospital. Steady now. The whole building? Get him or... out of here. He's not dead. The doctor will be here any minute. I bet you give him mouth to mouth. You know, just in case. So. Please, Mrs. Mason. Jules, listen to me. Did you not know the man who tried to kill you? Uh, he looked a lot like you, actually. I... Although, technically, that would be weirder, wouldn't it? Because, like, <laughs> he's not the man who it was a guy. killed him. I don't believe I was ever... Oh, my brother came at him from behind, so I was trying to say, sorry, I got distracted. It must have been a terrific shock to see him come back to life. Yes, it was. Oh, must have been a terrific Just a few moments longer, they would have known who the assailant was. 
I don't like to bring up the subject, Mr. Kessler. But these murders, did they ever happen in the daytime? No, I don't believe so. I see. You must be dealing with well, a vampire. There's no reason for asking. Uh, not particularly. I was just curious about that one point. This, uh, sorry dinner is late tonight, sis. But the new cook is having quite a time getting started. That's all right. Evans been with you long? Over some years. I don't remember how many. Or care. Everything's gone wrong today. Now I burned the roast. Oh, don't get so flustered. You'll be all right. I was so anxious to make good. Oh. I want to say. Pour me alchemy in that small oh, bowl. Is that mixing spoon? Yeah, it is. Right in front of you. Thanks. I like it here. It's nice. Everything Feels like too big a spoon for that job. Peaceful, like. Ever read the newspapers? No, they're just full of trash and murders and stuff. Mm -hmm. What you don't know, well. Yeah. I'd kill I'll you in this house. Pepper salt. That does sound like we save a lot of time. Well, Paul, I'm afraid you have me cornered. You still have a couple of moves, Mr. Kessler. You've met your equal, Dad. Oh, your father just got himself into a bad position. Oh, equal? No, I'm kicking your dad's ass. You don't play a song. It's your game, Paul. Want to play another? No, oh, thank you. Not tonight. It's getting late. Pardon me. 7.45? May I speak to you a moment, please? Oh, yes, yeah, certainly. Oh, I see. You don't have time for another game of chess, but you can talk to Evans. Yeah, the cook wants to leave. I thought you should know. Why? She just came. She feels if her work is unsatisfactory. She has so much trouble with dinner tonight. Why, that's ridiculous. Oh, I understand. It's her first day. I'll speak to her. I'll say goodnight, Mr. Kessler. Think I'll turn in. Thanks for A the what? Game. Night, Paul. What Thank do you me. turn into? I'll walk up Eat with you, Paul. Oh, glad to have your company. It's a long, lonesome climb up those stairs all alone. Well, He's moving right on to, it, to her, her fiancé's brother. Cooking such an elegant dinner. Did you really like it, Mr. Kessler? Why, I never tasted anything to equal that roast beef. Besides, you can't go now. It's going to rain in a minute. Are you sure you want me to stay? Uh, certainly, Marie. I need well, someone I to kill. Care, but I thought... Oh, then it is settled. If you don't stay, it's Paul Evans. Hi, Mr. Kessler. Apple pie? Mm -hmm. My, that will be a treat. <laughs> oh, let me take this. You, you might as well unpack your things, Yes, Marie. sure. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Not at all, Marie. Good night. Uh, Evans, you he moved her from the table to a chair. He's a wonderful Not very helpful man. at all. No, besides all the killings. Now, let's see. What did I do wrong? Life. She wrote a letter to someone. Thank you for that movie. I love in movies when they have someone go around and blow out candles and then they turn down the stage lights as if that in any way correlates. Woo, girl, take it off. Woo. Oh. Or some kind of shoe. Weird me, but then again, I'm a Floridian. We don't wear shoes outside. My dead wife senses tingling again. How is she out in the rain and her hair is completely dry? How much product do you use? He's having complicated emotions. He's mildly bored. He turned the chair so he can sit and stare at her? Is that that was is that? Now he's in kill mode again. Way to go, wifey. Waifu? 
Waifu sounds like a bizarre form of martial arts that involved with that ends in lots of bodily fluids being sprayed everywhere. I know Waifu! Or if it's an 80s cartoon show and rolling pens being beaten. Anyway, whatever, let's just watch the damn movie. Oh, he's pretending to be drunk while holding an imaginary drink? Is that what's going on? It's... Clearly something's happening, right? No, oh, I don't kill men. They fight back. Playboy. Actually, I don't even know if that's a viable option. I don't know if Playboy was a thing in the 1940s. When they started. I could look it up, but it involved caring. I think drunk killer Kessler has forgotten how to use doors. Been wrong before. Also, and I know this is a weird thing to throw in when he might be killing his daughter here in a minute, I've always wanted a four poster bed. I don't really have room for it in here, but I still want one. I'm gonna kill his daughter. Uh, he's going to cover her up because she looks chilly. That's the head cannon I'm going with. In order to allow me to keep watching this movie. Alright, I just thought that would look better. I know it's jarring to switch it in the middle of a riff, but fuck you. Deal. Wake him up? Is that? Oh, so he's just like the robots in both Short Circuit and Chopping Mall. The lightning made him sentient. Well, Chopping Mall, we're not sure if they're sentient. They're psychotic, but they might they might not be sentient. You're indecent! Put on a robe, sir! See, he put on a robe. Yes, we sort of know what's up. You dirty birdie walking around half naked like that. Also, super glad suspenders are not a thing anymore. Mr. Kessler. I feel like suspenders were always destined to be the clothing choice of nerds. Look at him. Mr. Kessler, are you ill? What? Something wrong? I'm a little hungover. Uh, oh, God. Hello, Paul. How did I get here? I must have walked in my sleep. Well, you did better than I. I couldn't sleep at all. It's raining. That's Why don't you go to bed, Paul? Uh, I'm all right. That's sexual his assment, and no, Paul does not have to take that. Nothing, Paul. Thank you. I think I'll read for a while. Good night. Good night, Mr. Kessler. A weird old bastard. Oh, killing those take it out of me. Playing six. Not, not that I know, because I've never killed anyone.
dead wife since tingling again? Yerp! There she is! Hair still bone dry. Face seems wet though. He is very concerned with his hairline. I don't know if this is family have a history of baldness or something? Like. Kessler has got severe mental issues that cause him to kill, and his wife has the magical ability to teleport. I feel like one of them came off better in this, de this deal. Right? Well, you look like you had a good night's sleep, Mr. Kessler. I was so tired when I got to bed, I don't even remember climbing in. Dad! Someone tried to kill the portrait and slit her throat! That's super not how that works! I wonder if anyone was hurt. By cutting the painting's throat? No, they're probably fine. Nothing could have hurt my father more. It's unquestionably the work of the claw man. hammer to the head? Broken legs? You're right, Evans. Uh, yes, sir, Mrs. Kessler. Good morning, sir. Where is the new cook? She says she'll go shopping first thing this morning. Have you looked in your room? No, sir. I, what, I? Something wrong, Mr. Kessler? Hey, that was Cecile's room. You just give that room to anybody. Don't even wait for the That's bed to get cold. She didn't leave. I'm not worried about that. When did she tell you she's going to the market? Last night before she went to bed. Any connection between this and what has happened before? I don't know. I don't know where many paintings killed here. House yet. No, sir. Good morning, Mr. Kessler. Oh, Marie. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. Thank you. Now make me that goddamn pie now! Glad to see me. Mr. Kessler thought you had been murdered. Oh, be so sweet. I'm going to start to make that apple pie. Right. Murdered? You just now got onto that? Can't imagine. And Evans finds it hilarious. Pop like someone's it. finger in the goose again. Good morning, Miss Kessler. Won't you come in? Thank you. That happened last night. Didn't it fall? No. Find me the person who did it, and you've got your murderer. Nobody came into this house last night. Ryan and his boys were stationed outside. Lieutenant. Oh, Lieutenant. Well, that's a weird place to keep your shoes. Well, that's a weird place to keep your gun. Doesn't tuck far enough back for a shoulder holster. And also, why would you keep it underneath two jackets? You need it in a hurry, you're kind of effed. It's your turn. Oh, he's plum tuckered out. Why was the curtain holding that fat ass up? Hair? Oh, no, it's thread. Someone was trying to sew her neck back together. Then you didn't hear any noises during the night? No, but there's funny things going on around here. Meaning what? Well, this happened three times now. I oh, all the dead sleep, people? Left the room. When I come back, it was gone. No. You ought to hire a detective to watch it. Well, thank you, Inspector Jackass. Appreciate your info. That's what you get for being such an excellent cook. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, Lieutenant. Yeah? You got something? I don't know. I... I found this in the picture. Anybody else know about it? No, I wanted to speak to you first. Okay. Let's see if I can match it. Keep the others downstairs. Also, I still think your brother's a killer. <laughs> Why not? I agree. Uh, <laughs> <is> uh, <laughs> <Mr>. <laughs> what the fuck are they talking yes. about? Fine. I thought I'd seen it on you. Found it in Evans' room. 
Well, there's nothing strange about that. There wouldn't be, Mr. Kessler, but it so happens that a thread from this robe was found embedded in the picture. Surely you're not trying to accuse Evans. Oh, it's incredible. You're just How trying you? to make a case. Well, somebody's so been doing these killings. He cut the painting Why with a robe? Heart failure. Well, Don't forget that. I'm stretching give Evans that disbelief to say he's choking I people around. I don't giving it to him at all. But naturally, when my things need mending, he just picks them up. I don't care how he got it. He had it and he used it on that picture. I'm going to talk to him. Uh, just a minute, Lieutenant. Yeah. How if dare you talk to him? It strikes me you've got to have more evidence. <laughs> now, everybody wants to be a detective. Oh, wait a minute. I mean, you're not very that good at it, so... has some suggestion. All right, go ahead. What is it? Without doubt, the murder is insane. The picture tells us that. I believe we should call in a psychiatrist. A psychiatrist. You still got the rope. A no, psychiatrist. I don't know what a psychiatrist is. I'm definitely in favor of giving him a sanity test. What do you say, Lieutenant? Okay. Maybe I'll take it uh... myself. All we want to know is if the fellow's crazy. That's very easy to determine. Is it? To make the examination here. If you don't mind, Doctor. Please tell Evans I want to see him and then go up to your room. Go to my room. Yeah, nobody wants you here. Is it possible, Doctor, for a man to be normal, say, for two or three months at a time, then go completely insane for an hour or two? Yes, quite common. This uh, common's a bit of a stretch. It, it can't happen, but... Now what? The fuse must have blown. I light the candles. At least these ones aren't made out of wine bottles. Fuse burned out, Miss Virginia. Oh, thank you. Me, Virginia! Yes, miss. Oh, they're back in hell, Jesus. Do, gentlemen, until the lights are fixed. I'll be in my room, Evans. Yes, miss. I had a room. Sorry, Mr. Kessler, but we ran out of fuses. I sent Marie over to the store to get some more, sir. That's all right, Evans. Sit down. What, I sir? Would you go ahead, Evans? Sit down. I don't want him. We want to talk to you. All right, sit down. I love his coat. Yeah, this is creepy as shit. If I were Evans, I'd be exquisitely discomforted right now. Do you want to speak to me, sir? This gentleman. No, we just want to stare at you. You're settings. a beautiful specimen of a human being. Yes, sir. Do you know these men? Two of them. Yes, sir. What's this gentleman's name? Mr. Kessler. Mr. Charles Kessler, sir. Would you say that Mr. Well, Kessler first name. is out yeah. of his mind? Probably. Uh, I don't understand you. Would you say that he is insane? No, I mean, he's a little kooky, eccentric, he also kills people. Other than that. I'm gonna raid the pantry. Hey, I'm gonna get in the liquor cabinet. Oh, I'm gonna get into so much shit. <laughs> oh, it's part right. No, I didn't say fridge. Damn it! The one thing I didn't say. Well, young lady, what do you No, it's mine! You can't have it! You can't take it. You can't oh. take it. Damn, I was right. It's mine, I tell you. Okay, sister, it's yours. Leave me alone. I'm going home. Home to my husband. And my daughter. Of course you are, and we know where you live, too. You do? Sure. He thinks she's homeless. But I'm dead, you understand? I'm dead. Of course you are. I'll take you where you want to go. Yeah, I'm you did, see? D-E-D -E dead, yeah. Tell me, Evans, do you think this man is crazy? I don't I have met him. I'm beginning to have doubts myself. Please, Lieutenant. Oh, all right, all right. Am I crazy? I don't think so. I haven't met him, but he constantly has a so. cigar in his mouth. A little weird, right? 
If you're not smoking it, why do you keep it in there? I know that woman. She's wicked. She can't go home. Yes. Yes, I know. She's bad. Now you come with me. She's a bad girl. I think Mrs. Kessel's getting into some role playing. Ever see this before? Yes, sir. What were you doing with it last night? I don't know what you're talking about, sir. His dead wife since didn't tingle. I'm dead, Charles. You hear me? I'm dead. Up, oh, he's zombied out. I'm afraid to come home. He killed me. I mean, he's not killing you yet. He is we'll looking weird. Anybody. It's Kessler. Mm -hmm. Take her out quickly. Nice. Too late. He's already in the middle of a psychotic break, right? Is that how that works? I don't know. I ain't no shrink. Again, super weird that he becomes a zombie when he sees his wife. So, learn to go to the bathroom on time. Constantly co-op around pinching your butt cheeks so you don't turtle. Beards work. Oh, I see. They gotta wait for him to kill somebody. Once they watch him kill somebody, then they'll know he's the killer and then they can stop him. Up until that point, they can, just, they can only observe. I'm okay with this. That detective's kind of an ass. Don't wake him. It's a Kessler. Oh, Dad! Get back in there. Close that door. Okay. Now you sit right there, and we'll see that you get home all right. Caught herself when she yeah, fell. What? It's understandable, I'm just saying, she's not dead. She's dead. Yeah. You guys going to eat that? Eat what? What the hell is she? Wife, I can smell that she has died, and I am famished. What happened to you? We've got the murderer. Evans. No, Mr. Kessler. You. Why I haven't murdered someone in 20 years? I mean, ever, ever. I've never murdered anyone. I don't know what you're talking about. Check, and no, my hairline's fine. Well, now that we know who the killer is, we'll be leaving you in peace, Mr. Kessler. Have a good day, sir. I knew you'd come back. Nothing can part us now, my darling. She's dead. Upstairs. Cooling on the floor, but yeah, sure. No, you're, you're good. You're good. Da 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 Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right, so by my interpretation, and I am but one man, but one man. By my interpretation, I feel like that movie was an attempt from 1940s Hollywood to deal with mental health issues, and not a good one. It was, it was pretty, it was pretty. I, I, they tried. We should give them points for trying. In the 40s, but holy crap, <laughs> his ex-wife makes him kill because he sees her and then he kills and... Well, that's just not how that works. 
thing ain't that ain't how any of that works. That's not anyway. It was a fun movie. It was enjoyable. I had fun. I hope you did as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you're here till the end of the YouTube video, if you're here on Twitch, sorry, right. and thanks for watching ads. If you're here till the end of the YouTube video, thank you so much for making it all the way through. I do appreciate that. If you would, please click that like and that subscribe. I don't have a hand gesture for subscribe. And ring my bell. Ring my bell. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, the live stream on Twitch, or not the live stream, the rerun stream on Twitch will be starting momentarily. Uh, give me a few minutes. I got to do a thumbnail for this video real quick. And that involves needing my camera, which I can't do while Streamlabs is open, so it'll be a few minutes before it comes back up. But thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate you all. You are beautiful, beautiful mammals. I love your faces. And every minute that you watch that huge, continuous, just multi-riff stream is a minute that helps me with advertising revenue, and I greatly, 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 greatly appreciate that. Thank you all so much. I love your faces. I'll see you next time. Have a great